Hello folks. I'm on a short video as you can see. Yep, my dragons are all inside. Um, there's a reason why they're all inside. And this is just some of them. This is most of them. I have some on the other side. Um, under all this good powerful LED lighting. I brought them inside because the weather is starting to change again. Although it's 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 not bad in in the, in the daytime. It's at night where the temp, temps are dropping in the 30s, and that's not good for dragon fruit. So once it gets below 40, they come inside. So they'll be inside now for most of February. I'm thinking because our last freeze if we even have one, it's on February 27th. In 20, my brain's dead. I wanna say 2021, we had the Arctic freeze and that was February 21st. And it killed all, most all my dragons that I had in very large, huge, large pots that I couldn't, there's no way I can move those. Way too heavy. Um, that's why I only plant in 15 gallon to 25 gallon pots that are very light and uh, the soil mix I use they're not even 25 gallon because I use a soil mix that I use I mix it with uh, hydro, hydro, hydro tin clay clay balls too if you know what those are so I mix my soil with that so these pots are even lighter than that so great soil mix that I'm using and it's working out great and it's saving me a whole lot of money because I don't, I, don't, I don't have to use a ton of soil in my pots so the dragons are all indoors and they'll stay indoors till most of February until the temps rise to above 50 degrees at night I want to tease I want to see the temps go above 50 degrees at night before I bring them out because I started noticing some uh, damage on some of the branches um, so and I have a lot of dragons, as you can see. And I don't want to lose any of these because I started all over again. Uh, so, and uh, I'm not going to lose any of these. <laughs> so they're indoors, happy, warm. And uh, this is why when you're planting your tropical fruits, you have to make sure you have enough room or a greenhouse to house them if you're not in zones 10 and 11. I'm in zone nine in the burbs of Houston and it still gets too, too uh, cool in the winter for, for, for the nights to uh, have healthy dragons, to leave them outside all year long. So you need a greenhouse or a, uh, or a high tunnel or like me for now, and two, because I'm always adding more dragons, uh, plenty of room indoors. Either this is part of my, I have a large living room, so I have them set up in here, a lot of them. And then I, in my garage, I even have more space. So it's important to make sure that you can house your, your dragons. These are investment plants. As you know, dragon fruit cuttings are not cheap, especially some of the, uh, the new varieties they're coming out with and uh they're not cheap so you don't want to lose those cuttings they, they're, th this is what i call a uh a high investment plant dragon fruits are a high investment plant so you don't want to lose them so plan ahead and so forth to make sure your dragons are nice and warm at all times no matter what climate you're in. So until next time, people.